Hey guys, it's Stone W. We're gonna do a quick DIY on how to repair your broken bathroom fan exhaust grill. Now, I have broken many of these over the years. I'm gonna show you how I fix them now. And it's been working for the past couple of years, so I figure I share. This is actually a new tone grill cover, and it comes with pretty, you know, pretty weak um, um, plastic hooks that hook onto the spring that hooks into the bathroom uh, exhaust fan. So I clean my grills every year or at least every few months. But for this spring cleaning, I basically cleaned it and it broke off. It finally came to the last part where it broke off the last leg. Um, so as you can see, one of the feet is already broken or one of the hinges is already broken. And I'm just gonna basically use some hot glue and some foil tape, duck, foil ducking tape, aluminum ones like this one. This is a pretty rigid uh, tape. I really do like this. I use this for a lot of other fun projects. This is from Nashua, I think. But anyways, it's very, very useful. It withstands a lot of heat and temperature, but the best part is that aluminum foil tape is quite structural. You can actually make, you know, give it a rigid form and it will basically glue things together and, you know, better than like duct tape. Duct tape is kind of weak. This thing you got to form and actually make a a uh, pretty strong structure over that and then we'll go reinforce it with some hot glue so i'm cutting it into like this quarter inch strip and the reason why i'm doing this is so i can make a new hinge um out of foil tape so i'm gonna peel it back a little and i'm gonna basically you know put uh put some of it upon itself so i so it won't glue up the hinge or the spring hinge now after you do this of course that spring hinge is not gonna be able to, you, you will be able it will still move, but you won't be able to take it off like how you have before. But to be honest, you really don't need to take those things off. I think they just built those little hooks there so that it's easy to take off and off. So you can soak the entire pan in some solution to clean it. I usually just spray it with a hose and most of the dust and stuff comes off. If you do it, if you clean your uh, grates, uh, the bathroom exhaust grates pretty normally every few months or maybe even every year, it doesn't really get that dirty, you know, so a quick you know hose and some detergent and a light brushing uh, will clean off most of the you know dust and dirt off of your um, grill so using this i'm basically putting some foil tape upon itself so it doesn't get gummy where it goes on the spring as you can see these are very small little pieces they're like probably a quarter inch it depends on what your own um, grill if it's wider or shorter or whatever but i'm basically putting the adhesive sticky side onto itself so that it won't stick on to that spring uh, latch that it has. So I'm putting that right over it. This is just to hold that latch in place to where it originally was in place was so that, you know, it won't move. That's the whole point. And the adhesive on this, on this uh, aluminum foil tape is very strong. So once you place it on, it's pretty much gonna stay there already. And in fact, you can probably just fix this with aluminum tape. And of course, I'm just pushing it so that it won't, it still moves as you can see because the one side of the photo tape is covered by the other adhesive. So it's basically, let me show you another shot of this. So as you can see, that bottom part of the photo tape is covered by its own photo tape. So there's no adhesive touching the actual uh, spring or the, that, that metal latch. So doing it again on the other side, I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. I have about one inch um, um, strip of aluminum tape and I have a little bit of like a half inch and that half inch is go, go go touch that uh, adhesive side. So after I put it back, put it down, push it against the um, the the end of the hinge, it works perfectly fine. It's not moving anywhere with this aluminum tape, and of course it's not stuck because the adhesive is not touching the actual spring. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and put the hot. Ooh, oh, oops, that just came off. This old Steiner uh, hot glue gun has been with me for like over ten years, and that top part's not coming out anymore. So every time I squirt it out, that top part just overheats and pops out. I'm gonna probably fix that, this glue gun. But this Steiner glue gun has been with me for a long time, over probably 10 or 15 years. So it's been pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, give it some structure by putting some hot glue over the aluminum foil tape. So it's gonna actually act as a reinforcement. So you don't really need a lot, but I just put enough so that, you know, none of the sides come off and it still moves, of course you know, hot glue is actually pretty cool and it, hot glue is actually not touching those the two metal springs. And that's, a, that's there you have it, that's already fixed. It's not good, you know, I've already fixed this like a couple of years ago and they still held up very well. Uh, and just go ahead and put the springs back in and you're done. 
and that's it. Anyways, I, I'm Stoning W. Hope this was helpful to you. And, you know, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.